Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence. Jesus, we acknowledge your Lordship. Father, you are the director of our lives and this time together in prayer and worship. And we just want to bring you glory. We just want to touch your heart. We just want to know you a little bit better. So we come today humbly, yet boldly approaching the throne of grace, knowing that you have something, something to pour out. And so we just come to your feet, willing to receive whatever it is you have to give and just wanting to pour our lives, our lives out at your feet. So, Jesus, be honored. Be honored. You're the centerpiece. You're the centerpiece. You're the, the beginning and the end and everything good in between. Our lives have meaning because of you. Our day-to-day -day lives have meaning because you came and you died and so be glorified in our worship today. Psalm 29 says, Honor the Lord, you heavenly beings. Honor the Lord for his glory and strength. Honor the Lord for the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord echoes over the sea. The glory of God thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. Lord, your voice is majestic. Your voice is holy and to be honored and revered in our life. Jesus, what you have to say matters. We honor you. We worship you. You are worthy of our worship. You have the words of life. You have everything that we need in the palm of your hand. Jesus, you are perfection. You are holy perfection. You show us the Father. You show us the perfect love of the Father. And your voice thunders in our life. So we put your voice back where it's supposed to be today at the center of our lives. Your voice is all that matters today. In this moment, at this time, wherever we are, your voice is the only thing that matters. Jesus, speak. Jesus, transform. Jesus, be honored, be loved. We come with our best, pouring it out at your feet. Be, be honored in our worship and in our adoration of you. We've come to look on your face. We've come to behold you in the glory of your goodness. Jesus, we've come to behold you in your faithful love to us. We've come to be transformed by your goodness today. You are worthy of our time. You're worthy of this whole hour set aside just for you. You are worthy of it. So we give you honor and love and all of our affection. You're so good. You're so faithful. You're better than we could ever imagine. You've never left us. You've never forsaken us. You're the friend that sticks closer than a brother and we receive you today. The 
Ascribe unto the Lord the glory due His name. Ascribe unto the Lord honor and the praise, for He is holy and He is worthy. Ascribe unto the Lord, glory do His name. Ascribe unto the Lord, honor and the praise, for He is holy. Great and marvelous are your works, O oh Lord. Just and true are all of your ways in all the earth. Holy
Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you. Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you. Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, oh. Jesus, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you, Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you, Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you, Jesus, I love you.
spend a lifetime we could spend a lifetime looking for someone as beautiful as you and we would always come up short we would always come up short because there's nobody like you there's nobody like you not in heaven or on earth there's nobody like you there's no one so holy there's no one so loving no one so full of forgiveness Jesus there's no one like you there's no one like you and when we're tempted to believe that there's anything that could satisfy us like you you remind us again that there's just no one like you. You're holy. You're set apart. You're set apart. There's no imperfection in you. And through you, we meet the Father. So there's no one like you. Nobody can bring salvation and forgiveness of sin it's through your holy love poured out on the cross that we get life and life abundant there's no one like you Jesus there's no one like Jesus there's no one as wonderful, as perfect, as faithful, as loving as Jesus. You are it. You're who our hearts, our souls have been searching for. You're the one. You who are the one we've been looking for. You're the one who satisfies every need in us. You're holy. for you. 
Come and be everything I am and all I know Search me through and through Till my heart becomes a home for you Come and make my heart your home Everything I am and all I know Search me through and through Until my heart becomes a home for you of searching for hearts that are completely devoted to you. We want to be completely devoted to you. We want to be completely surrendered and open and ready. And I just see Jesus walking into homes, walking into workplaces, searching for hearts that are completely dependent, completely surrendered to Him. Jesus, whatever you want, you can have it. Whatever is in the way of my yes, you can have it. Whatever is in the way of my surrender, I'm stepping over it, around it, clearing it out, clearing space, making space in me for you. Jesus, you're worth our full yes. You are worth our full yes. I don't want you for a moment. I don't want you for a season. I want you for a lifetime. Come and rest on us. Come and live in us. Come and do your work through us, Jesus. Make yourself at home in my heart. Make yourself at home in my life, in my everyday life, Jesus. We surrender. All you want is a heart fully surrendered to you, Jesus. So we 
We practice surrender today. We practice the yes today. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, you can have my life. Yes, Jesus, you can have my family. Yes, Jesus, you can have my passions. Yes, Jesus, you can have my calling. Yes, Jesus, you can have my dreams and my money and my home and my job. Jesus, it all belongs to you. It's all surrendered to you. Jesus, we want you above everything else. We want you to establish your lordship in our lives. And we want the presence of the Holy Spirit to dwell in us and on us from now until forever. Not for a moment, not for a season, but forever. Jesus, make us hospitable to your presence. Make us hosts of your goodness and of your glory. Jesus, we just want to host your presence. We just want to know your goodness. We just want to be hospitable to the Holy Spirit. We say yes. Make yourself a home in us. Make yourself a home in your people, in our hearts. If you're looking for a people who will say yes, we're a people who will say yes. We say yes to you, Jesus. Yes to you, Jesus. Something that you'd burn up on the altar, Jesus. Have your way in me, Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus, I want to be faithful. I want to walk before you upright. Jesus, I'll be loyal. Cause I know that in this you delight.
just want your presence, Jesus. I just want to feel your nearness, Jesus. I want to feel your gaze locked on me, Jesus. me to gaze as the way you gaze upon me, Jesus. I just want to look at you the same that you look at me, Jesus. mission to purify me Jesus you have permission to purify me Jesus purify me Jesus purify my heart purify my motive purify my intentions you have permission to purify me, Jesus. Because who can ascend the hill of the Lord? Only those with clean hands and pure hearts. And we want to ascend the hill of the Lord. We want to stand in your holy place. We want to stand in the place of your presence. So you have permission to purify us. Jesus, you have permission to purify us. Jesus, make me faithful. Jesus, make me faithful like you are faithful. Make me faithful like you are faithful, Jesus. Do whatever you need to do in my life to make me faithful like you are faithful, Jesus. I want to be faithful to you. I want to love you faithfully. I want to be a faithful lover of Jesus. I want to be a friend. I want to be a friend. Jesus, we want to be friends. We want to be friends with you. So make us faithful like you are faithful. You have permission. Fire of God, you have permission to burn up everything in us that does not bring you glory purify us. We want to ascend the hill of the Lord. We want to stand in your holy place. We want to stand in the presence of the Almighty. Purify us. You have permission to purify us. Jesus, make us faithful. Jesus, make me faithful. You have permission. You have permission. We don't pray empty prayers, we pray faith-filled prayers. Jesus, you have permission. Jesus, do in us whatever needs to be done 
so that we can ascend the hill of the Lord. Purify this generation. Purify this generation. Make us friends. Jesus, we want to be friends. We want to be your friends. Jesus, we want to be with you. We don't want you to have to leave us behind when you ascend the hill. We don't want to have to be left behind when you go to the garden. We want to be with you. So do whatever you need to do in us so that we can go with you. Purify my motives. Purify my heart. Purify my intentions. Jesus, you have permission. We just want to be faithful lovers. Faithful lovers. We want to be loyal to your presence. You're not looking for a stage. You're not looking for influence in order to do the big things, God. You're just looking for hearts who are completely yours. So you can have us completely today. We want to be faithful lovers. We want to be loyal to your presence. We want to be pure and holy. We want to go with you. Take us with you, Jesus.
your feet, Lord. Have your way, have your way. Lay my life at your feet, Lord. Jesus, Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. You are welcome in our lives. You are welcome in our homes. You are welcome 
in our workplaces. You are welcome in our schools. You're welcome in our hearts. Come, Lord Jesus. That's our prayer. At the end of it all, all we want is for you to come and dwell with us. So come, Lord Jesus. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this heart. We love you. We adore you. And we worship you. And we hold nothing back from you. Come on in. Have your way. We love you, Jesus. And we bless you. And in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. <laughs>